Pete Davis, you're to blame for all this. Talk, right. talk us right. through it. I'm going to jail soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, the concept of the car is, is to, to, to get six people and lots of luggage into a very short space. It's, the car is only four meters long, which means that um, you can, uh, it, it'll be the same uh, uh, class as a, as a C-segment class, uh, Bravo Brava, etc. Um, uh, the idea is to get uh, an MPV that is less costly than the current uh, current range of MPVs that you find on the market now. Less costly and less less more small or more more compact. Um, Are you doing this just to cash in on all those other manufacturers doing the same thing? It seems that every manufacturer is out there coming up with a smallish MPV or smaller MPV, and. Um, I don't know, uh, bearing in mind the scenic and bearing in mind one or two others that have come along. Are you just trying to jump on the bandwagon? Well, absolutely. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, what I like, an honest answer. The, car, the competition is fierce in, in Europe and, and uh, there's not a lot more people that we're going to sell cars to, so we've got to try to satisfy the people that, that, have, uh, that, that are our customers already, satisfy them in a, in, a, in a better way, offer them products that are more useful. Would you agree that this is a sort of product that you either love or you hate? I've heard some people, I personally, and I'm not just saying this because I'm sitting here with you, uh, but I personally love it. But I've heard people say some awful things about it, not because they don't respect your work, but it's just not their cup of tea. Well, the, the truth is that it's a, we've, the concept has given us a very unusual volume, a very unusual proportion. It's a very wide car, very tall and very short. And some people would find that uh, in their vocabulary of what a car is, would find that a bit difficult to accept. I love the design, as I say. I love all the quirky little features. The radio is different. We've got a cup holder here. We've got, um, well, it doesn't open because this is a prototype, of course, but we, we don't want to touch too much because it's, like I say, this is actually a running car and, and certain things function better. Yes. Okay, but uh, we don't want to break it because this is the only one in the world and it's worth an awful lot of money. But let me just tell you where you went wrong as far as I'm concerned, Pete. Oh, okay. If I was your boss, um, and I was the design chief at uh, Fiat, I would have put the steering wheel there. That's the logical place. The driver sits in the middle. He has a passenger either side. You know, Naomi Campbell that side, Claudia ah. Schiffer that side. Well, if you... that's the case, <laughs> <laughs> we'd sell one car, I think, perhaps. <laughs> no, but quite so seriously. There's only one Claudia Schiffer and one Naomi. <laughs> but, but quite seriously, if you think of all the problems with uh, left and right hand drive, that costs you, the manufacturer, a lot of money to build a lot of cars with a wheel on the left cars for Japan and uh, Britain and one or two other markets in the world with the steering wheel on the right mm -hmm. stick the steering wheel in the middle you cut down your production costs that means that the end consumer saves because uh, you pass on those cost savings but the greatest asset is that it's much safer the world is getting smaller certainly Europe's getting smaller it means that people can come over from the UK and they don't have this nonsense of driving a left-hand drive car on the right-hand side of the road or vice versa the wheel is in the middle just like on a McLaren F1 this car is built for it there's the instrumentation virtually in the right place mm. so why not can I speak now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, we, we studied that option as well, and that would require that the driver's position would be slightly forward than the two passenger yeah. positions. It would, it would lengthen the car by another 200 millimeters. Uh -huh. And also, it's very, dis uh, it's very difficult to get in and out of a car to, in a center driving position. Mm. It takes two steps to get into the driver's seat, mm. whereas this, you just step out and step in. And that's a, that's a big consideration when you're talking about a car that uh, also older people uh, would would be wanting to drive as well, and <clears throat> so that is a basic uh, the basic reason to keep the keep the the length of the car down to make it easy to get in and out of, but also to uh, this is obviously showing six seats, but we're also thinking of a five seat version with a tremendous bin between the two front seats, which you can throw any handbag any bag of groceries it will be modular in a way that you you could have a refrigerator in it so you can have cool drinks for your family or whatever when you're when you're driving and uh, so it, it was just the right combination of the total project to, to do it in this way